Grab founder Anthony Tan is certainly not a poor boy from a poor family. The 36-year-old entrepreneur is the scion of a wealthy Malaysian family that aptly enough made its fortune in cars. Tan's grandfather built an automotive empire by importing Japanese cars into Malaysia. That was a bold move in 1957 when many Malaysians still resented Japan after the occupation in World War II. As Tan grew up, his father ran their automotive empire and often brought his young son into the office. At six, in the late 1980s, Tan decided he wanted to be a businessman. At 11, his first venture was trading comic books. Like every little kid, I was addicted to comics, loved X-Men, said Tan in an interview. I saw other kids wanting what I had, so we said, hey, let's trade. Soon after we started trading, I realized that they didn't have much to trade with, so I accepted cash, and I made some decent money, I must add. As a young adult, Tan was a personal assistant for his father, and on one occasion was tasked with firing an employee. That experience made him realize, quote, the value of finding trustworthy people, Tan said later. Tan's BA at the University of Chicago didn't seem to give him direction, so it wasn't until he enrolled at Harvard for his MBA at the age of 27 that he cottoned on to the idea that would morph into his ride-hailing startup. His family were a little baffled at Tan eschewing the family business, but they supported him as Grab began to take shape. After his idea for Grab won Harvard's new venture competition in 2011, he set up the business in 2012. The startup was at first self-funded by the Tan family. His mother was one of the original angel investors. I learned frugality from them, which was very much my grandfather's way, Tan says of his family. Money is hard to earn and easy to throw away. That's a very typical Hakkian saying. My parents also passed on the quality of hard work. There was a huge emphasis not necessarily on being book smart, but about working damn hard. It wasn't until 2014 that Tan turned to outside investors for cash for his fledgling Uber rival. That was the year he encountered the mercurial billionaire Masayoshi Son as Tan sought an investment from the SoftBank founder. For Tan, it was a very memorable meeting. We're at the top floor of his building with all of Tokyo under us, Tan once recalled. I look at him, this very distinguished gentleman. There's a samurai costume, there's a golf club, and there's a baseball bat. And then he goes, I love business. 14 years ago, Jack Ma sat in that seat. Then he said to me, if you take my money, good for me, good for you. If you don't take my money, not so good for you. Tan is now worth over $300 million, and Grab is slated at $7 billion after taking over Uber's Southeast Asia business.